Hi, my name is Neil, and I'm one of the pastors here at Trinity United Methodist Church in Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, we've all been spending a lot more time at home uh, these past few months, and I can't help but think about Mark chapter 2, where uh, the Apostle Peter has been spending a whole lot of time at home himself. Uh, he is not a, he's not uh, fishing any longer. In fact, um, he's spending a lot of time at home because Jesus is spending a lot of time at his home to the point that the neighborhood begins to consider Peter's home Jesus' home. And in this particular moment in Mark chapter 2, uh, there are four friends and they are carrying uh, a friend that is paralyzed and on a mat and it's difficult for them to get to Jesus so they begin to to dig a hole in Peter's roof and lower this man right in front of Jesus. Can't you just see the the dust and the dirt and the plaster from the roof just uh, falling like confetti on Jesus's head and Peter maybe just about to pull his hair out wondering is this what it's gonna be like uh, going forward following Jesus and in that moment uh, Jesus does something uh, miraculous uh, he heals this man uh, through forgiveness and by telling him to go home he's forgiven of his sins and then in a separate moment he's told to get up and to go home I don't know about you but I, I've been finding slowly but surely what it means to truly come home even though I am there uh, day in and day out uh, my whole family is under the same roof we're, we're not going anywhere we haven't been anywhere for the last two months and yet there have been moments that I have found in my relationships with them that I've needed to come home uh, the first one was just sitting on the back porch with my oldest daughter uh, when everything in the world began to change and I, I asked her what's been the toughest adjustment and I thought she was gonna say well I think it's uh, these online uh, learning moments with my teacher and uh, no that wasn't it she said it's family time family time and so I, I, I listened and I asked a few questions and I came to the realization that what she was saying was uh, daddy we might be under the same roof all the time but that doesn't mean that all the time is family time it's still got to be intentional it still needs to be purposeful um, it still needs to be set aside and, and special and uh, that was my first moment of realizing I need to come home uh, to, to my children even though I'm there all the time uh, the other moment was um, where my wife and I were having a disagreement and we went out on the front porch to, to talk and uh, one of our neighbors was checking his mail and he's walking up his driveway and he says hey how are y'all doing and my wife says uh, we're having a moment right now I, I was laughing on the inside a little bit but um, later on we could laugh together about that moment um, coming home it looks different uh, for all of us but I believe it's gonna feel the same it's gonna involve forgiveness um, we're gonna feel paralyzed in some moments uh, we're need, we're gonna need to get up and and maybe take a walk and just collect ourselves and come home again uh, but I think the maybe the toughest word um, was not forgiveness or maybe even picking up your mat it was probably that gentleman coming home in a brand new way uh, to his family and it might mean coming home to, to your family in a new way as well and in all of this time that we have uh, let's make sure that we come home uh, to each other we come home uh, in those moments and let's continue to follow Christ together let's continue to watch over each other in love God bless you.